Hello everyone, this is Scott Thomas again from ARS Rental. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to set up a receiver to be used with the Turning Point software to collect responses. Now, in this tutorial, I'm using Office 2007 and a fresh install of Turning Point 2008. Everything was just, uh, this is the first time the software is being run, so everything is going to have to be set up from scratch. So we're going to cover from plugging in the receiver the first time all the way through configuring channels and testing to make sure that responses are being collected by the software. So we're going to start first by plugging in the receiver which is uh, approximately three inches long as you can see on screen it's a uh, just a regular USB device it kind of looks like a, a memory stick. So I'm going to be plugging it in for the first time now and in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can see that Windows is doing its thing, uh, installing the device drivers for the first time. And that's all the longer it took. The, the device drivers have been installed successfully and we're now ready to use it. So, just to make sure first that the software is recognizing the receiver plugged into the computer, we're going to click on Tools on the, on the Turning Point 2008 ribbon. Tools, and then all the way down to the bottom to Settings. Once the settings window opens up, click on response device in the upper left hand corner of your screen. And in the very first line on the other side, you could see that uh, a device ID has been recognized by the software. That's simply a, a serial number. To the right of that is 41 in my case, which is the default channel that the system sets itself up to. We can change the channel to be whatever we like. Um, in our case, let's just leave it at 41 at the default. So, uh, that's all the configuration there is for the hardware. Everything after this is just testing to make sure that um, all of the keypads are set to the correct channel. And we can do that through the, the, the built-in polling test in the software. Click on the polling test tab in the upper right hand corner. Once this window pops up, simply click on start test and I'm taking the rubber band off of a, a bunch of keypads here and I, I'm just pressing buttons on on several of the keypads here in front of me. You could see that uh, the device IDs are coming in as, as well as the different responses that are being submitted. So there we have it. We've configured a receiver from scratch which is basically plugging in a USB plug-and-play device. We've verified that the software recognizes the the receiver by taking a look at the the device ID under um, under response device right up here on screen and we verified that the keypads are set to the correct channel uh, by pressing buttons in the polling test thank you for your time I hope you found the video useful if you have any special requests for other videos please submit your request through the contact page on ars-rental.com. Thank you, and have a great day.